Good afternoon guys. It's out in the backyard today. I'm going to do some work on my takedown saw. This is something I built about two weeks ago. And the whole point of these saws is uh, you can take these apart and make them more compact, easy to transport, or you could just take out the saw blade and some cordage and a few tools with you in your backpack and build this out in the woods. Uh, when I first built it, it was just meant to be a temporary tool. I just wanted to see how long it would take me to build. And right now, it weighs three and a half pounds, quite heavy, and it's really thick. So what I want to do today is uh, shave down all the excess wood, making it lighter. And hopefully I won't take off too much so it doesn't lose any strength. And I also want to have a little talk about uh, self-reliance and hand tools. If you're into self-reliance like I am, you'll know the importance of having hand tools. Hand tools don't take any electricity, and I find you get more in touch with your work doing it by hand than with the power tool. I've been collecting hand tools for a few years now, and not only am I collecting tools, I'm starting to make my own tools, which is an important part of self-reliance. It first started out with the scrap wood workbench. It's a portable workbench that I made, all entirely made out of scrap wood, except for the wheels. After I made this workbench, I collected some scrap metal, made myself an anvil on top. It's not uh, the prettiest thing, but it works. Then after that I used some more scrap wood to build myself a stand, and I took an old brake drum and made myself a brake drum forge. I started getting into blacksmithing, made some very simple tools, and as I got better, I got, uh, you know, my tools got more complex. I find now that the tools that I made help me make new tools. I have a wooden mallet here I've made, a draw knife, a hold fast, shave pony, all these tools now are helping me make more tools. They're not going to be as good as store-bought, but they help get a job done. I also have a good supply of scrap wood on hand. I have a bin full of scrap metal. These are things people were throwing away anyways. I also have containers full of various nuts, bolts, washers, nails, and screws. And when I start on a project, it's very rare that I ever have to go to a store to buy anything because I, I already have it at home and that's kind of the whole point of the self-reliance is having things already then you don't have to go to a store and, and buy this stuff alright guys this is day number two of working on my takedown saw I apologize for the noise it's getting more and more difficult to find peace and quiet to film videos around here. Worked on this from about 7 to 11 last night. Decided to call it good. You know, it's, I put a coat of linseed oil on it. I'll probably put some more today. And after using my homemade tools for that long, you kind of realize some of the problems that you have with them. You know, my workbench, I have to try to find a way to stabilize it. It's really shaky. My shave pony, I had to beef that up. It was kind of falling apart a little bit. And uh, my draw knife and chisel, you know, they, they work pretty good, but not as good as store-bought tools. So I could easily spend another four hours on this, refining it, and I'm just not that nitpicky. still has a nice rustic quality to it. 
it's a lot ma or easier to manage to use. I went, I found some wire instead of the paracord, and I weighed this. Uh, it's saying three pounds. I, I don't have a way of getting a real accurate measurement or a weight on this thing, but it says three pounds, so I took a half a pound of wood off of it. Anyways, it was a fun project. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.